And Griff, for more on this tragic story, retired FBI Assistant Director Chris Wecker joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. You know, I want to get your reaction to what we have learned about the suspect. But, but while we talk, I want to put up again the list of charges that this man is accused of doing to this young woman. Again, Mr. Swecker, um, your thoughts on the suspect. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I hate to, to beat this immigration issue, border issue to death here. But you can draw a direct line between the open borders and this death. We don't know who's coming across the border. You know, this, this young man didn't just spontaneously combust into being a criminal overnight. He, he, this, is a, this is someone who has committed crimes before. He's committed crimes in the United States, as a matter of fact. But we have no way of vetting these people, whether he was a gotaway or whether he was actually processed. And it sounds like he was. He was paroled into the country. We can't talk to Venezuela. We don't, we, we don't know what his criminal record is in Venezuela, and I would guarantee you there is one. So what we're doing is unleashing criminals and terrorists and spies into our country, you know, willy-nilly. Willy I mean, we, we don't know who's coming in. Right. Well, and again, he crossed illegally in September of 2022 at the El Paso borderline and again released into the United States on parole. Earlier this morning, Tom Homan, the former acting director of ICE, had this to say. Take a listen. This young lady suffered an aurora, a, horror, a terrible death, a violent death, fighting for her life. Another U.S. citizen family is going to bury their child because of this open border. They're going through hell because this government has failed them. we got to save lives, and you do that by securing the border. You know, Chris, it's not difficult to go from had this person not been in this country, this promising young woman would in all likelihood still be alive. No, no doubt about that. Tom, spot on. I mean, we have opened the borders to, and I'm not saying everybody that comes across the border is a terrible person, but there's a high enough percentage, the risk is so high that it's unacceptable. We're getting gang members from Venezuela. We're getting MS-13. I think some countries are actually emptying their prisons like Castro did in 1980 onto the United States. And they, they come from lawless places. They have no respect for the, the rule of law or, or, or police or authorities. And they pretty much do whatever they please. They live in an underground society. That alone, you know, is, is a criminal act. I mean, everything's black market. So, you know, criminals, spies, uh, uh, terrorists. And we, we just, it's a self-inflicted wound on this country. Yeah, and the president, we know the president is considering executive action. In your mind, what needs to be included in that uh, in the 30 seconds I have left? Remove the incentives for people to come here, and there are plenty of them. All you got to do is get across, claim asylum, you get released, go to, go to court in 10 years, you get all the benefits in this country. And provide disincentives, deterrence for people to come here. Remain in Mexico. I'm not being a politician here. I'm being a law enforcement officer a career person with 40 years in this business and an attorney and a former prosecutor. And I'm telling you, you can't just unleash criminals. We're going to be living with this for decades and decades. Mm -hmm. Remove the incentives, create deterrence. And this family will be um, living with this forever. Uh, Chris Wecker, thank you so much for your time today.